So hello, this is Jonathan from Fubar Design and Bolt Action Grunts. Uh, today we're going to be opening up combined arms. Uh, let's get this thing going. Now this box has a lot of weight to it. You guys want to see the back? So this is the multi-system uh, overreaching game system that uh, Warlord Games recently made this year. So it uses its own little stuff to combine the Blood Red Skies, Bolt Action, Cruel Seas, and Victory at Seas. So we're gonna open this all up for you guys to see. And you can, even though it says two players, you can do a, a lot more than two players with this. So first off, we're going to get these three different colored sprues. So on these, you guys can see you have armored units, infantry, air, sea, and then different infrastructures. So you have airstrips, probably capital, industrial centers, and whatnot. So you get three of those sprues in different colors. You get two dice. Oh, we do have one of these. So our package was packed to us by Edward. So go on to give him a big thanks from Warlord Games. We then have the initiative cards, the resolution cards, the order board, oh. and then we'll get to what most of this stuff means in a second. Oh, more boards, okay. These are the larger boards that you see people putting their cards and whatnot on top of. Okay, so here are the different maps. So we have North Africa, the Eastern Front, North, West Europe, and then some of the Pacific. So starting with the Pacific, you can see we have the map on Guadalcanal. And Northwest Europe, you have... Where is this? Portsmouth, St. Lo. Oh, okay, so this is D Day. This is the Juno Beaches, Paris, St. Lo. This is the Eastern Front, so you have some of the Crimea and interior Black Sea area. And then North Africa, you have Tobruk, El Alamein. The main one. And then of course we have the rule book and then some of the little tokens. And these are all the same on both sides. So in the rule manuals, let's see. I just quickly flip through this for you guys. Let's have a look at it. Yeah, it tells you um, how everything works. Each one of those little tokens from earlier takes up one full tile. And shows you how to use it with all of the other game systems. So, yeah. So as you guys can notice with these maps, some of them are very small uh, in the front, or where they would be, especially with the Guadalcanal one. Uh, given that the Pacific campaign was massive. So you guys can make your own hexagonal maps and whatnot using online images and whatnot. That's what a lot of other clubs I've seen are doing. Uh, and then you can use the same exact 
tokens and everything, and they still work out perfectly regardless of what type of map you're using. So you could do, instead of this Northwest Europe one, you can do a uh, Operation Sea Line one if you want to do a map of the UK and whatnot. So I'm going to go through some of these initiative cards real fast with you guys. Carefully open that up. If you lose the battle, your units cannot retreat. So if you're going to be doing a battle with bolt action, all your units would get fanatic, and that would really help you out, especially if you're playing an army that doesn't get the fanatic trait, or if you aren't spending the five points per model to get fanatic. And then oh, this is another one, air support. Play before a land battle. You gain a free forward air observer in this battle, as long as you have at least one air unit in front of you. So if you have one of the air unit tokens on the map, you would get that air observer. You're able to use that for your game. So if you guys notice, these ones all have bolt action on their top corner showing which one they're for. So there's a couple for cruel seas, some increase the experience of a ship. You got some for Blood Red Skies that increase. Oh, this one's nice. Uh, dominant Tactics, play before an air battle. Increase your hand size of action cards in Blood Red Skies is increased to five for this battle. So usually in Blood Red Skies, you only get to carry three cards. This one lets you carry five, and that could help you out a lot. So there's a lot of these ones. Some of them level uh, troops up, some of them lets you reroll. Uh, move units in a different manner, get plus twos. There's a good variety to make sure every single game comes off a little bit different with these. Ooh, this is one. Fortify. Play as an order. Reveal a scout in your land text. Place an infantry unit from your destroyed area into chosen hex. So that's called Fortify. So if you use one of the tokens over here, you're able to pull back a unit from a destroyed tile that you had lost. There's a lot of these, some called Fighting Retreat, Land Defensive, Nighttime Raid. Uh, that's actually a good one. Play Before an Air Raid. Ignore AA for this Air Raid. That's a good one. If you're playing a Blood Red Skies with Flak and whatnot, that would help you with that. There's a lot of interesting cards here. And then there's some for Victory at Seas that help you out as well. Because those are the main four game systems. You can use Cruel Seas or Victory at Sea interchangeably. So Cruel Seas is now run by Skynex, I believe. Uh, they're a different company than Warlord Games now. Now for some of these resolution cards. These are a little bit smaller ones. Okay, so these really just help you guys put down tokens and the different objective markers and whatnot. Yeah, some lets you draw more of the initiative cards. Some get to put other stuff down. Some of these are really interesting. This one seems to be related to bolt action. It's called Warrior Spirit. When a friendly infantry unit is destroyed because it cannot retreat, roll to destroy an enemy unit involved in the battle. So it's a nice little card. So a lot of these are catered to land, sea, or air. We have a lot of interesting cards. And some of them you can tell pretty outright where these cards are more or less more catered to. So looking back at these sprues, you guys can clearly see in better detail and better focus what's inside of these things. 
So you get three planes, three tanks, three infantry, three ships, uh, two airstrips. This is a cultural center. You get two of those, two fortifications, two military sites, and then two bases. Great color. Yeah. And as you guys can see, the rule book goes over which cards are more specifically for each one of the games, uh, what's needed for all the other systems and whatnot. Skies, you're just talking about cruel seas, victory at seas, and then bolt action. So. Combined Arms has a lot you can do with it, especially for gaming clubs and tournaments. Uh, you guys will be seeing a lot more coming from us dealing with that. Uh, thank you guys all for watching this unboxing video, and that's all we have for you today. Thanks.